on, Mikey. You can do better than that. Well, you're not making it easy. Really? Why are you saying that? Well, you're pushing down on my back as I'm trying to push up. Well, working out isn't supposed to be easy. Now get pushing. <sighs> hey, what's up, guys? Mikey here. I met up with my personal trainer, and she was pushing me a lot harder than usual this time. It feels like this girl's trying to kill me. I gotta come up with a better way to get in shape because it feels like this current working out plan isn't really working out. Muscle Bob Buff Pants is the episode where Spongebob orders a pair of inflatable muscles called anchor arms to avoid Sandy's exercise program. This episode aired on October 2nd, 1999 and is that episode where Spongebob keeps losing his arms because he's so weak. This episode also touches on Sandy's strong and athletic side, but not necessarily her karate side. While we know that Sandy is strong, I feel like sometimes people mostly talk about her karate skills, and while that is definitely more entertaining than her scientist side, it almost doesn't feel like we see how strong she is outside of doing karate. But the first episode themed entirely around karate wouldn't come until a few episodes later with episode 29, Karate Choppers. Something else I also appreciate is that this episode shows a side of Spongebob where he actually has an ego and gets in over his head. The modern seasons depict Spongebob as too nice, and seeing times where he actually shows an eco or that he can get mean at times is definitely refreshing to see. But we'll cross that bridge when we burn it. This episode is about the anchor arms, so let's watch this episode and see how great it is. So the episode starts up, and I love the title card music. Spongebob is growling and making tough faces into the mirror. He then starts to struggle while lifting his bunny barbells that haven't been seen since the pilot, and I like these barbells. Sandy arrives, and Spongebob shows Sandy that he's been pumping iron with his state-of-the-art weight set. Sandy says Spongebob won't see progress with the bunny weights if he wants bodybuilder muscles. Sandy suggests that Spongebob follow her training program, and Spongebob imagines his life with giant arms and legs. Sandy gives Spongebob a water helmet before she leaves. Wow, she actually remembered he needed a water helmet this time. What an improvement from when he asked for one and she just ignored him. The next morning at 5 a.m., Spongebob was at the tree dome struggling to do push-ups. Next, they were boxing and Spongebob couldn't lift the boxing gloves. I can relate. I haven't had those exact issues, but my personal trainer did put me through something similar. All right, put them up. <laughs> Come on, put them up, put them up. They're up. At least I still have my own arms. Later, Spongebob ran on Sandy's squirrel treadmill, but he then tripped and got flung into the side of the tree dome and lost his arms again. Sandy then tried to get Spongebob to the arm cruncher, and when he saw it, he got scared and left immediately, much to Sandy's annoyance. Spongebob was lying in bed when he sees a TV commercial where there was this shark guy selling these arms called anchor arms, where you put them on like a glove and you add air to them with various different sizes including Harry for the ladies. My arms have hair on them. I don't get how that's supposed to be a lady magnet. Spongebob liked what he saw and decided to order them. When Spongebob was wearing them later, Squidward and Mr. Krabs were shocked at what they saw. At Muscle Beach, Larry the Lobster and various other tough fish were lifting weights when Spongebob arrived. Larry and the others were impressed by Spongebob's muscles and how he flexed and his muscles formed different shapes. Later on at the juice bar, Sandy came and went inside. Spongebob was talking to everybody about his new muscles. The bartender gave Spongebob a drink, and we see that the anchor arms don't actually give muscles to the user as they were advertised. Spongebob extended his lips to drink the juice and said, yeah. Sandy asked Spongebob about his new muscles, and Spongebob said he created his own workout routine, and everybody wanted to know what it was, so Spongebob said his routine was armpit farts. I tried that when I was young and it didn't work. Everybody else was skeptical, but they still tried it out. Sandy told Spongebob about a competition called the Anchor Toss Competition and said that this would be a great way to put his muscles to the test. The bartender put a glass on Spongebob's hand and Sandy decides to sign them both up for the competition. Spongebob tried to stop her, but the drink on his hand stopped him from following her. Maybe if he drank the juice, that might have made the glass slightly lighter and he could have been able to follow her. The bartender took the glass off Spongebob's hand, but he was too late as Sandy already signed his name in. Later that day, the competition was about to start. The other four contestants were getting ready, but Spongebob was nervous, so he inflated his arms again. First off, Don the Whale threw his anchor, and it went 200 yards. 
Larry the Lobster threw his anchor 210 yards. When it was Sandy's turn, the measurer ran in circles and her anchor went 510 yards. Sandy actually kicked her anchor. Is that even allowed in an anchor toss competition? Next up, Spongebob tried to throw his anchor, but it fell, but Spongebob pretended he did that for laughs and everybody thought it was funny. He thought he would be exposed, so he tries again by inflating the arms to the highest setting possible, jerk. He tried so hard to lift the anchor, but he used too much air in his arms and the anchor kept going from one of his arms to one of his other body parts. This kept going on until his arms exploded and deflated. The crowd found out the truth and started chanting for Sandy. Sandy was furious when she found out that Spongebob had been faking it and Spongebob followed her. Later at the tree dome, Sandy found a routine that worked for Spongebob, using his thumbs to change the channel a hundred times. Then Spongebob's arm fell off again, Spongebob asked her to get it, and the episode ends. It may be because I like playing video games, but I don't see how pushing buttons actually works as an exercise routine. So that was Muscle Bob Buff Pants, and I feel that this is a pretty good episode. There are a lot of scenes that I love here. Some of my favorites are when Spongebob was struggling to work out at the tree dome and he kept losing his arms, and when he couldn't lift the drinks at the juice bar. I also think Squidward and Mr. Krabs' reaction when seeing Spongebob with his anchor arms were pretty funny. I also love the Big Muscle Beach Anchor Toss competition when the measurer kept getting crushed by the anchors. While we're on the topic of the anchor toss competition, there was a scene I found a little strange even as a kid. The anchor toss competition showed five contestants participating. Dom the Whale, Larry the Lobster, this golden muscled fish named Frank, Sandy Cheeks, and Spongebob Squarepants. But after Larry threw his anchor, Sandy took her turn. Frank was never shown taking his turn. He could have thrown the anchor that was thrown as a replay after Dom the Whale threw his, but that makes no sense at all. Additionally, when Dom and Larry threw their anchors, they landed 200 and 210 yards respectively. Also, during the aerial shot of the measurer running from Sandy's anchor, we can also see that the area Dom and Larry's anchors landed in was the second to last section. Sandy's anchor went 510 yards according to the measurer. The measurer was also running in circles in the final section. So this distance right here is 200 yards, but this final section is 300 yards. Of course, maybe the measurer ran further off screen right before it landed, but I still don't know if that actually happened. Even though I found this odd, it still never impacted my enjoyment of this episode or this scene. The measurer getting crushed by the anchors is funny and makes up for it. My favorite part of this scene was always when the measurer ran to the side and Larry's anchor moved to the side just to crush him. Back to the praising, I also liked the scene at Muscle Beach where the bodybuilder drops the barbell and the other two guys just go, ow. A little subtle moment I like also happens at the beach. This beach is called Muscle Beach, not Muscle Beach, Muscle Beach. This beach is where the bodybuilders hang out, yes, but this spelling of muscle represents tiny shell-covered creatures commonly found on beaches. That's a neat subtle attention to detail and I like things like that. The commercial was also a pretty funny part, as well as when Spongebob escaped from the arm crusher and Sandy was shown holding a phone, and when Spongebob fantasized about his life having huge arms and legs. I also think that the sight of Spongebob actually having an ego is done pretty well here too. Even up to this point in the series, which is just the first half of season 1, he was still shown as a really nice guy. Even though he was showing off in episode 5, Ripped Pants, this was just as a way to get laughs and attention. This time he's showing off his fake muscles and actually shows a self-centered side here. This is still from season 1, but I still like this side of Spongebob. It's a shame we don't get to see this side too often, if at all, in the modern seasons. This episode is also beloved by fans. During the Ultimate Spongebob Sponge Bash, which celebrated the show's 10th anniversary, Jerry Trainer from iCarly stated this was his favorite episode. I watched this episode a lot as a kid. I wouldn't say I watched this as often as an episode like episode 6, Jellyfishing, or 110, I had an accident, but I still enjoy watching it from time to time. I think this episode is great. I don't think it's the absolute best from this season, but season 1 as a whole is really great and there are so many awesome episodes here. But I still really like this episode, and that's what matters. Muscle Bob Buff Pants is a solid episode. I love the jokes used here, and it's an enjoyable episode to rewatch, in my opinion. But the struggle with working out really shows that I have to come up with a better workout routine 
before I see my personal trainer again. Hmm. That's it. Oh. oh yeah, that's much better.